He can't take side take and mate. And I have knight of eight, knight g6 here. Yeah, he hard committed with his king. Yeah, he did. Um, I mean, everything is kind of winning here. Although, maybe it's not. Let's go here. Now, I just, just checkmate. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. Play more England Gambit. We're over 2200. I think we'll get to 23 by the end of by the end of this. Why are people just giving Hikaru a tough time? Oh, Queen D5. Is this a line? I don't remember Queen D5 in the theory. Okay, I mean I'm down a pawn, but I get big play, I assume. I feel like I have big play. I actually don't know. I'm going to go here, maybe just castle. I'm gambiting a second juicer. I don't know if it's good, but I feel like I'm getting quick play in the center of the board. Probably I'm not, but let's see. Go here, hit the queen. Yeah, you get ELO for draws against higher rated players. Would I ever do IRL against Levy? Of course I would, but I'm not in New York, and I have basically zero intention of, of doing anything in New York. Uh, so very unlikely that'll happen. Okay, Queen H4. Okay, let's go G5. I'm going to go King F8 and Rook E8. Looks very, very good. 12k viewers. It looks like 11k to me, but let me refresh. I'm not. I'm just not a fan of New York, honestly, at this point. Okay, I can... Let's let's be a Bobby Fisher and grab. Did I celebrate Italy's victory of Euro 2020? Uh, what? Why would I celebrate that? Do I look like I'm Italian? I mean... Go here. I'm an LA guy, not really, but I'm, I mean, I'm so past New York. Like, I mean, I'm not a fan of New York. I don't mean that really like in a bad way, but like, I'm so over New York. Thank you, Petlino, for the seven months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Petlino. Of course, I shouldn't have allowed this. Um, let's go here, maybe Rook here. Not a good position at all. I'm not a fan of Cuomo and de Blasio. It actually has nothing to do with politics. I just don't like the lifestyle of New York. I really don't. I do get an impression of the Rock's eyebrow raise. Unfortunately, I'm not worth $45 million like the Rock is, though. Uh, let's just take and I guess take. I don't even know why I did this. Takes with the E pawn. Okay, let's go here. Maybe Queen F5. Maybe Queen A2 is a move, too. I'm going to go here and try to sneak in with Queen A1. Which city in Los Angeles did you play coffee, coffee chess in? And, you know, like I said, I'm not going to say where it was. Um, again, unfortunately, as I, as I alluded to earlier, unfortunately, the um, basically they've gotten death threats because some of the people haven't liked some of their trash talk videos. So they actually don't like they don't make it publicly available where they play, which is pretty absurd. I've I said it before, but I mean, just figure I'll say it again. WTF, yeah, welcome to the internet where when, when no one knows your identity, you can say absolutely absurd, absurd nonsense. That's insane, yeah. So, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, like I said, like, they, they said that to me. Like, when, when I was going to go there for something, they are like, please don't say anything because, like, we've had death threats. And again, you never know if the death, you know, if any of that is serious or not, but still, you can't really, you never know. There are a lot of crazy people in this world. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty insane. Let's just go here. Welcome to the world we live in, you guys. I mean, it's not good, but yeah. I don't have a good position. I'm gonna have to flag him. So let's just go here. Maybe rook b5. Pawn an h2.
Was a king up? Oops, free rook. That should be GG's. Go rook h4. Take the pawn h2 next move. Oh, let's just take the pawn. Good check. Let's take the pawn. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Eight more to go. Okay, let's just take and drop back. <laughs> go e6, maybe knight c6 next move. He was playing well for the most part. Uh, I think I take some knight c4, knight e3 here. And I hit the bishop. Oh, maybe he's got this, but I go back. No rev on that is no sorry nope what do you think of Missouri it's an interesting place the knight b6 and uh queen d7 and bishop b4 nice Kamisha yes thank you so much appreciate it uh, I think I did with the king goes c6 and knight d5 here did I get knocked out of the FIDA World Cup thank you yeah <laughs> um how I feel? I feel pretty good. Oh, uh, let's go knight d5. I can obviously take. I've got a great knight. This knight is amazing on d5. Beautiful knight. Beautiful knight. Uh, I'll play e5. I don't know if I like it, but I'm going to go f6 maybe. Do I think we'll return to OTB chess next year? I mean, I'll play over the board chess. I'll play Rapid and Blitz for sure. Classical chess, we'll see about. Um, but I will definitely play uh, play Rapid and Blitz for sure. But I, I mean, I enjoy streaming more than I enjoy enjoy putting up with nonsense in many ways uh, that I have to put up with in the chess world. I will say that. So that, that's what I would add. Do I miss classical chess? The game itself, at times, I miss. Um... But like actually like dealing with the politics and all the other nonsense that you have to put up with in the world of chess, I don't miss at all. So that's what I would say. I don't know if this is right. Um, actually, I kind of don't even know why I did this, honestly. Let's go here. Streaming so late. Yeah, it's a little bit on the later side today, but it's not crazy. I think I go here. I want to go G4 and F3. Should be winning. Do you think you'll ever do a simul in LA? I'll pay an entry fee. Oh, I would love to do a simul in LA. Of course, I would love to do that. Go here. I got to stop B5. Very important. Um, I don't know if I'm actually winning, but I feel like the pawns are very menacing here. I think it's a real pokey vein for the prime, or real poker vein. Sorry, I think it's a real poker vein for the uh, for the prime. <laughs> Thank you so much, to real poker vein. Appreciate it. Um, Thank you so much for the sub. Okay, I can play G4. I can go H4. Let's go G4 and takes. <laughs> Take the pawn. <laughs> yeah, pretty good one, right? Okay. Um, I have F3 next move. Thank you to Bobby Corella for the uh, for the ten months. Thank you so much, to Bobby Corella. I think I go G3 and F3 next move. Should be fine. Um, go here. I have F3 maybe. I think I should be. I go here and takes maybe it's got a four but then I go knight c2 or takes um yeah I think I go here b5 I just take I have a5 I go knight d4 knight 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 a6 and I cut the pawn off um let's go knight a6 next move should be winning go here Uh, let's go b4 maybe b3 um let's go b3 maybe f3 next we should just be winning unless i'm crazy take another pawn i think you do crunchy lumpia for the prime this was crunchy lumpia okay we're playing f pawn i actually know this this guy isn't very inspiring by the way this is a michael eigner is a feeding master from san francisco he is a quadriplegic he does not have arms or legs um it's silly for the <laughs> 
Suli25 for the gifted sub to Pokemon. Thank you so much to Suli25. Uh, but Michael Eigner basically is a quadriplegic. He does not have arms or legs. Uh, but he's a very, very nice guy. Very strong at chess and um, and just an incredible person. So, uh, so, um, so, so big shout out to Michael Eigner. Go E6 and Bishop E7. Go here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's incredible. Seriously, it's it's incredible. Really, really incredible. How does he play? Um, well, I mean, he has like he does he doesn't have arms. I think he might be able to move move the pieces with a mouse, or maybe there's like a, a text to speech. But yeah, he was featured on Antonio's channel. Yeah, I mean, it's all I'm gonna say like in, in regards to him is that he 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 must have had the greatest parents in the world. Like, I, I just I mean I, I've I've met him on a couple occasions. He's very very nice, very optimistic, and all all I can really say is he must have the best parents in the world. That that's what I would say. It's just it's absolutely incredible. Um. You get a new Kuda 18 for the prime. I think it was a birth defect. I, that's what I think it was. Uh, yeah, F pawn is Michael Agner. It's just, I mean, amazing. Amazing. How can someone be that optimistic? Yeah, but like I said, I mean, what I would say about him, he must have had the best parents in the world because I, it's it's incredible. Incredible. Um, Let's take the knight and take with the rook. The rook D8 here. I think I'm just gonna go here maybe line it up yeah it's it's incredible it's absolutely incredible I think a Madison H for the gift of sub to mass Kinison. thank you so much Madison H go here and target the pawns on b2 and c3 um let's just go I don't know somewhere let's go g6 can't find him in Google. It's A-I-G-N-E-R. It's Michael Eigner. It's so it's Michael, of course, which everyone knows how to spell, and then A-I-G-N-E-R. That's his that's his last name. Just an incredible story. Okay, let's bring the king in, I guess. I think I'm gonna go F5. It's a little bit committal, but I think it works. That knight c5, knight d3. Just go e5. His king is stuck on the rim here. F pawn website. He is amazing. Oh, does he have his own? Does he have a website he created? Go 96 here. He has some fingers so he can play. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's just. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's really unbelievable. He can't take side take and mate. And I have knight of eight, knight g6 here. Yeah, he hard committed with his king. Yeah, he did. Um, I mean, everything is kind of winning here. Although, maybe it's not. Let's go here. Now, I just, just checkmate. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. I just lost my mind for a second. Just looking at chat. Oh my gosh, I just... I just hard blundered. I just wasn't paying attention for a second. Yeah, I just I hard blundered. I just hard blundered. Whatever. If it had if I had to like lose attention for one second, good that it happened in this game. Yeah. It had nothing to do with Pokemon. No, I just I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I blundered it, yeah. Maybe he carved for the win for the gifted sub. Yeah, I've wondered it. If it has if it has to be a game, it's best as that one. I just wasn't paying attention. If I take on H4, I just win the game. But I wasn't paying attention. You know what's funny is I actually saw it for one second. I saw I saw it coming, and then I just hung it. But that's yeah, that's I could have lost the game earlier. If he was a little bit lower on time, it wouldn't have happened. But yeah, I just I looked away for one second and it, it, it happens. Alright, let's go D4 and C3. Yeah. Happens. Or I meant to go C3. What was B3? Wait, let's go C3 and takes. Uh, let's go here. Maybe Bishop C4, Knight of 3. Next move. Knight G5, hit the Bishop and Bishop C4. Okay, let's go here and Queen uh, Queen H5. I just take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just... I, I, I lost control for one side. I wasn't paying attention. 
normally actually i could have probably made a mistake but that was a huge that, the problem was that just lost the knight and it didn't just lose the knight it lost uh it, it also gave a pawn on g5 too so let's just take did i just blunder again i think i did actually he's got 96. Well, let's go here yeah uh let's play rook c1 uh bishop e3 next move should be winning Uh, let's go here <laughs> so rookie one maybe takes maybe just h4 rook h3 i guess should be good enough but right here i guess i just take go rook, rook e1 so here i have rook d8 rook d7 should be a clean way to win go so here rook f7 no losses again no I mean I won't I'll, I'll be focused because that's kind of annoying I shouldn't have thrown that game okay let's go check check here all right next game Was I winning in that game? Didn't pay attention. Yeah, if I trade on H4 and went knight G6, it would have been it would have been mate and mate and two. Um, but anyway. Oh, and now okay, let's play C5, B5 here. Uh let's go here. Maybe play the Ben Oni Wan Kenobi. Use the tracks or not right now, no. Oh, it's kind of hard against D4. let's go d5 rookie eight and bishop d3 was mate yeah but i mean but but also um it's not really that big of a deal the previous game though was unfortunate yeah i'm streaming from tsm i almost always stream from tsm these days go e5 maybe d4 next move Are there any are there any top tier champs you wish for streamers? I mean, Anish, if he wanted to, could probably I think be very successful as a streamer. Um, other than Anish, I'm hard pressed to think of any others who I think if they like stream consistently, it would be the same thing. Yeah, I'm at TSM, but it is a different room. That's fair. Yeah, it's not the same room. That's true. Do I care about the loss? Uh, I'm annoyed because of how winning it was. At the same time, I was going to lose a game to someone. It's good that it was someone that I'm actually familiar with and someone someone who is just a very very impressive as a person. So yeah, it's mildly annoying, but again, I'd rather like throw it against him than it be some random person who I have no idea who it is. So that's what I would say. Um, but yeah, I, I basically I just confuse the order. If, if I take on H4 first and then go knight G6, it just wins. Um, and the funny thing is I actually saw the idea and then like I saw the problem and then in that split second when I looked away and then came back, I forgot I forgot about it. Uh, let's go. Go here in IC5. Next move. What are my thoughts on Fabiano losing? Um, I mean, it's the World Cup. Anything can happen in one game. That's that's what I would say. World Cup, one game, happens. Go in IC5. I have D3 next move. Should just be game over. Um, Have I ever been adopted? Probably when I was much younger. I probably lost 10 in a row to somebody. But it's probably before I was probably when I was like nine years old like really ancient 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 stuff go here that's what I would say um yeah Fabiano is number three yeah thank you to Geiger for the 13 months thank you so much to Geiger let's take I take with the I guess I'll take with the Queen to go Chuck they should be winning am I starting to throw this game too actually wait a second go here because I, I figure I have fossils everywhere enough where I can just take I guess go here I also have some funky Bishop h3 trick with Queen f1 maybe
Okay, it does play h3. I guess I just trade and go rook d1. Okay, let's keep going. We're, we're I think we're at 220, so we're five ones away. Let's play a, let's play a Danish here. I think you guys want to see Danishes. Let's do the Danish. Bishop c5. Okay, let's go here. Um, I think I'll play knight f3. Maybe bishop g5. Maybe just target everything. Classic right triangle. When will we see you again over the board chess? Uh, probably, like I said before, um, for the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz event. It'll be starting, I think, August 9th, if I'm not mistaken. Like, August 16th. Do I like Danishes? They're good, but they're kind of unhealthy. Everybody likes Danishes, but they're unhealthy, to be fair. Go here, hit the bishop, maybe. Maybe queen d3. I'll go here I don't actually know what I'm doing for uh, my queen is very wayward in this game wait let's go for a throbbing let's go for the throbbing mate there's just a throbbing mate here and I'm hitting the rook what do you mean unhealthy you mean the Danishes like as a breakfast like Danishes are very unhealthy I mean they're they're, they're very tasty but they're very unhealthy like Go queen h3, hit the rook here, maybe a four next move. In Denmark, they're known in Denmark, they're known as what are they known as? In Denmark, they're known as Viennese breads. What? Wait, are you serious? It's known as Viennese bread? What? <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. That must be a joke. You can't be serious. Go F5. I mean, that can't be legit. It's just very weird. I mean, it's just very weird to call them that. I don't know. I, I can't. Thank you, thank you to Psycho Panda for the uh, 10 months. Thank you to Cartridge for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. How, how many monies do you have? Thank you. I've actually got a bad position in this game. I don't know what I'm doing. Got to be very careful. It's definitely not called a Danish here in, here in Europe. <laughs> okay. This is actually very dangerous. I don't have a good position here. I'm probably losing objectively, but he's he's not playing this correctly. Takes was the first step in the wrong direction. It's actually very bad. I think I have F4, F4 maybe E5. Let's see what he does here. I've done blindfolded simuls before, yeah. I played 15 players at one time. One time I did that. But usually when I I did it, I did 15 players once. I think I've done like six players like once or twice. Actually, more than once or twice. I've done it like three or four times. Magnus has only done the two play. He only did the three player one, that New York City one. Um, but I did I played 15 at the same time. Um like 2003 or something. Obviously, I'm not as young anymore, so I'm not convinced that I could do 15 still. But I did 15 once. I did six in another official exhibition. I think I did six one other time as well. I won all the games. When I did when I did the 15, I won all 15. When I did the six, I won all six. So yeah. I think you did a JPG for the 14. But yeah, I would say somewhere, I mean, I suspect that somewhere around 15 is I'm not sure I could do more than 15. In fact, I'm not even sure I could do 15 now. But somewhere around 15, you start to get into that very sketchy range where you start to like, you start to like lose your mind a little bit. But like it requires a special kind of insanity um, to, to do that. A special kind of, a special kind of insanity. That's, that's what I would say. 
play e4 here Uh, but I mean again like let's see okay let's play the ortho schnapps again uh let's take and go here do you think you have a special kind of insanity I mean if you play chess you have a special kind of insanity to begin with yes um but I don't have that really special kind of insanity like say Timur Gurev who can play uh who can play um who can play like 50 at the same time I I don't I could know I don't know how you do 50 blindfold games like that's just beyond me that's just too weird I I, I have no idea how you do that yeah 50 blindfold games is ridiculous how do I, I lose the game because I looked away for for one moment in a game and I I played the wrong order and I hung a night um but yeah it's uh 50 is just that I I don't even want to think about that that's that's too disturbing um these are no these are lot yeah these are logitech these are logitech pro x pro x um that's what they are but yeah 50 i mean don't ask me how i don't know how you do 50 okay let's go check and end this game in a hurry classic right triangle by the way just eat the juicer eat the juicer probably have to use memory techniques yeah I mean I don't really know how you do it I just know that it's like I just I don't know I, I even 15 15 maybe is disturbing but 50 I like I don't even know bro you memorized 30 numbers in like five minutes using chess notation last Friday that was ridiculous I already said I'm a special kind of insane that's not really up for up for up for just dis discussion let's go here most that I could do I I'm guessing um the the most that I'm guessing is I could probably do uh maybe 20 if I practice maybe but beyond that I don't think it's even I don't think there's even training for it I just think I don't even know how you're supposed to do it I mean I've done 15 so I'm confident I could probably do 15 again but I don't think I could do more than that I really don't maybe 20 if I'm lucky but I, even that doesn't doesn't sound right Okay, let's take the pawn go check take the rook okay let's keep going three more to go oh the chat on screen is cut off a little bit Okay, whatever. What, what am I doing? Let's just play chess. Okay. Take and take. I can play g6 here maybe I think it is c4 c4 cr4 ck baby for the 11 months thank you so much go so here he tries to go for the throbbing but now I hit him with a check on his king do I think they should have chess in the Olympics no I don't actually thank you to uh Genghis Khan for the three months thank you so much to Genghis Khan appreciate it thank you Genghis hope all is well hope your conquests are going well hope everything is good in Asia my man um I can take I can also go here I think I'm gonna go here though yeah, yeah I just I hung I I basically hung a night I looked away and I, I just played a wrong order in a game yeah but I won't lose another game so it's all good uh let's just go king f8 nothing is good over here in Australia North 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 NSW oh 
Okay, checks. I can play something else, but I'm just going to go king f8 and bishop f6. Okay, knight e5 looks good. Let's just go here. I want to go knight f4 maybe and hit him with something. Do I sleep with mosquitoes? What? <laughs> what are you... Okay. <laughs> Dude, I mean, seriously. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and, and check yourself before you wreck yourself. Let's go bishop d3 here. Simple question, do you have mosquito pets? Yeah, I, I don't know what you guys are... I don't know what to say. Am I worried about California fires? Why would I be worried about that? That makes no sense either. I think I'm going to go e5 here to plant the bishop. He can always go d3, but then I go like rook c8 maybe takes. I don't actually like my position weirdly enough. Okay, chat, relax, you guys. Just take a deep breath and relax. Do I sleep with plushies? Okay, you guys. Now the questions are just off the rails. Go H5 here. <sighs> I don't even know what to say, you guys. I really don't know what to say. You guys are, like, insane right now. Go here. Go here, not blunder again. Let's not let it slip this last second. Let's check me. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go back to playing the Blackburn Shilling. Okay, let's go 97. Maybe Castle's next move looks completely fine. Okay, 23 96. Very serious player, by the way. Go here. I guess I go d5. This might be the first title player that I'm playing against, actually. I think it is. F5, I think I just take and go g6. Oh my gosh, I don't have g6. He's rook g5. I was going to take and go... Doesn't work. But now bishop f5 is a threat again, maybe. Oh, F pawn. Yeah, I guess technically he was titled too. That's true. Technically, he's an FM also. Yeah. Let's just take and go here. Great jump. Rook C8 next move. All pretty good here. He has a picture of he has a picture of himself playing chess, so I guess he is good. Okay. I think I go B5 here to remove the knight. Actually, let's go. Um, let's just go here. If he takes, I just he loses the pawn. When the world opens up again, what is going to be your first vacation? Probably I'll go to Hawaii, like uh, like Cipher PK. That's my guess. Hawaii is going to be the first place. Place G4. I don't really like that. I'm just going to go here, target the pawn. Okay, 
is the mask mandate back in LA? Yes, actually it is. Uh, I went I went to whole paycheck this morning and um, and they they were requiring masks again. So yeah. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go here and take an E2, and it's game over. Do I stream every day? Pretty much. I mean, I've taken a little bit easy in July. I've taken days off on the weekends, but generally, yeah, I, I try to stream like five, six days a week, five, six hours every day. That's pretty much what I do. That's my profession. I stream. Okay, let's keep going. One more. I think I think we're one shy of 225. So let's uh, let's keep going. This, this will be the last game. I think C5 and Knight 6 is still supposed to be fine here. Have I ever had dinner with Magnus? I mean, there have been closing ceremonies where many of us have been been been, uh, been playing together, but not like not like specifically. How is Levy earning more money on YouTube than on Twitch because of the ad revenue? I mean, I, I mean, I, I, again, I don't want to get into all that stuff, but like I said, like I've already spoken about that quite a few times. Actually, I don't even know why I played, but I should just go knight a5. Why did I do this? Okay, let's go, um, let's just go here and I just take with the queen. Even this, I don't know why I did it. I should just cast it. Twitch subs pay two point five dollars. So how's YouTube more? Because on YouTube, if you get like, if you get like, let's just say, I'm just gonna give you guys an average, something like, if you get uh, two hundred fifty thousand views on every video, you're probably gonna make like five hundred dollars plus based on the CPM. So, um, so it's it's about views and the CPM. And on YouTube, to, to compare, like to compare, for, Levy would have to have something like fifteen thousand subs probably on, um, maybe not fifteen thousand, but. You'd have to have something like 15,000, 20,000 subs on YouTube, on Twitch to com compete with what he makes on YouTube. Yeah, at least, at least. Probably more like 20 to 25,000 subs. He would literally have to be at the top of, of streamers. So, uh, so yeah, I think that says a lot. Yeah. You guys would be surprised how much you can make on YouTube. If you monetize correctly, you have like the right monetization processes, the right, you know, you have a good CPM. Yeah. You have to be the chess bra is not not that's not even comparable honestly i mean we're you're talking like 25 to 30 thousand subs i've already spoken about it before so it's not like i'm leaking any anything new I, i've already said it before um oh wait i have to be careful not to blunder okay let's take first um what am i doing here f5 last queen g6 knight d5 maybe knight of four maybe knight of six a uh, chess bros, I think, hit 20k briefly, but again, on on you on Twitch, you make uh, you don't get the whole five dollars out of it either. So yeah. Um. Go here and e5 next move. How long before you leave us for YouTube too? Uh, that's never happening. Uh, I think I, I think I said this actually that like I think right now I mean like this month I'm gonna make more on um, on YouTube than I do on Twitch, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave uh leave, leave Twitch. But yeah, it's 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 pretty eye-opening. I mean, again, I it's not really my place to say that much, so I'm not going to, but it's very eye-opening how much you can make on YouTube if you you know you have a good CPM like you, you get from the chess category, you get you're very consistent, post videos consistently. Um, and you also need to be in the right place too. But yeah, thank you to Bastia for the two months. Yeah, anything that has family friendly content like chess is high CPM. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty amazing. Okay. This is a free night. Oh, let's just take. And take. Is that why people double dip with YouTube and Twitch? Um if they can, yeah. Uh, Antonio must be doing really well considering the cost of living in Croatia. Antonio does fine, but uh, there is one other one hitch to what I just said, you guys. Um, and the one hitch to what I said is that if you're not in the, if you're not in the U.S., um, 
like the monetization some of these processes are a little bit they're they're not as good if you're outside of the US so there is that one that one issue I mean, he does, I mean I'm sure Antonio does fine but you also have to be fortunate enough to be in the right place too so there there is that just take um I can take and play f4 here take the rook to queen d6 who is Antonio he is um he is um Agadmator Agadmator he is a pretty pretty amazing content creator he he uh does a lot of YouTube videos on chess uh he's the OG he's the OG he was doing it long before um he was doing it long before uh, anybody else was also we're, we're about to win this game again yeah all right we got the dubs all right you guys I'm gonna take a short break we're in the restroom I'll come back uh so I'll be I'll be back in a second